Any additions or corrections? Other than that one, still stands approved red. <clears throat> Police chief not right here. Did he bring us a report? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I move on to line item seven as fire report. Fire chief not here. Move on to line item eight financial statements. The reconquered general fund did not plan, that's why you have a copy of the federal bank statement. <clears throat> and what you answer in if you don't get it, it's gone for the so we are still going to let anything. Any questions? We have got some stuff on down here. <laughs> yeah. All right, line out of nine, see the recorder. He's got some stuff for you. Uh, the Blue Cross Blue Shield grant for the playground equipment, I did get notification that has been submitted. So now it's just a waiting game and to see what happens with that. Uh, we did get the final number in for the cost of the local option of action that we do not have to have. Uh, $2,326.62. Again, I don't know what's the invoice here, but let's look at it. That came in and I did confirm that was all that we owe, which is over and done with. So that's it. Yeah. Um, I do, we do, we discussed last month's meeting about paying off that loan earlier, early. Uh, best I can figure is we don't have to have a motion or anything tonight because I do want to check into it a little bit more. But best that I can figure if we pay it off by the end of December, we'll be paying off 516000 and some change. That's going to save us over $130,000 in interest. The only thing that I want to check on is the depreciation with all of equipment. Even though that's not a true monetary number in the bank account, I still have to account for it in the make sure that we allow enough for that. So when Mr. Cruel comes into our audit this month, I'll get with him and see what it is and I'll bring it back next month if we're still comfortable. We can move with an ordinance to pay off. Yeah, or at least that's what The good part about that is it stops that interest and we stop our payments so we can take our money and start working on that. And that's the first phase of that's the one that's, that's the one that was up on uh, uh, Spring Valley. That was only really what 16. And if we do proceed with this, 
for the meeting of budget ordinance. So that's two readings and a public hearing before we can actually finalize it. So, but I will check with them <clears throat> and get a final number and everything for next month's meeting. That way we can be all on the same page about exactly what we want to do, whether we want to do it or not. Um, property, property insurance for the the public aid departments used to be TML. They do our property liability and workers' comp. We do have a local agent right now, which we do not have to have. We can be at a great bill if we want to. If we cut out the middleman, it saves us uh, fifty one hundred ten dollars a year. Um, that's fifteen percent off our premium for property, seven and a half percent of our premium for liability and 5% of our workers' comp premium, which respectively is $1,800, $1,900, and $1,300. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are willing to do that, that is something we can totally do and not miss anything really. So. I just need a motion from someone in a second to proceed with that if you guys want to. Doing that tonight. We they can think about it if they want to. It doesn't have to be an hour or it can, however they want to do it. <coughs> I don't know what what's your contract with him. Is this what Power Man is? Yes. 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 Has Power Man been doing it? Yep. There are local agents, but as far as submitting the claims and stuff online, I don't do that anymore. There are years we have some outfit out of Brentwood. Yeah. 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 Actual insurance carriers and Brentwood, the uh, public entity partners that used to be TML. Right. Pound that is just kind of a middleman. Middleman. Yeah. Mm. You're saying cut the middleman? Yes. Yes. Y'all mull that over a month if you want to. Mm. Oh. The last thing that I have is during the budget uh, process. We did not discuss the mayor's salary supplement, and we need to um, either yay or nay on that because it is times it's paid for. Essentially, what that is is giving the mayor a raise that all employees got during budget. So, which is done as a salary supplement instead of changing his actual salary. Is this, a, is this 1375 a bonus that we give them every month, or is that just pay for a month? Or what? That is yeah, a, it was a quarterly. Uh, yeah. Was, you, you can't increase the salary, like you yeah. can't increase your salary, so the mayor's yeah. salary during the term. But, right, because it's safe. But this came up with the previous recorder, and he spoke with the comptroller, and this was a way yeah. to do that. And this has been since 2015, I believe, is when I was told. So. Within the council's <clears throat> discretion to do, and the money is already allotted in the budget for it. I just don't know whether or not I can allocate it towards that or not. So for that for that amount, though. Yeah, that'll be what the what the new one is. Yeah, pay quarterly. Just that now, and then it'll go to that or that increase, just like the employees got. And that's basically the only way we can give the mayor a salary during that four year time. Yes. That was going to be my question. To yes, ask sir. Because the charter says it cannot be increased or decreased. Oh, during, during this time. During you could, nor for yourself. See, yeah. <laughs> you can't give yourself yeah, a raise. Right. But you can, you could have it implemented for the next term. For the next, for the next term. term. Right. Right. But this, again, this, this issue came up and yeah. they spoke and we've never been, the auditor's never questioned me or anything as to how we've done it and he did check on it. When I first came up, my thoughts are though, as an employee, I mean, should warrant him, whoever it may be, a raise with the rest of the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to clean the way we do it up a little bit. I don't know I do what the if this is just an agreement, <coughs> you know, between the mayor and and the recorder or who it is, or is that how it's got to be? It can no, be. No, sir. You have to vote on it through your budget okay. every year. You can't do it. Other, you can't make it reoccur. You have to vote on it every year. So, no, 
they can agree on how to do what to do. Yeah. And they haven't. It's always part of the. I, I can include it in the budget ordinance next time that you guys vote on and approve. Just like the property tax rate is default and in there, and you agree to set it at what it is in there, I can do this mm -hmm. in a similar fashion if you want me to. So if we wanted to change the mayor's salary, can't. Can't win. Now. No. You can't. And we can you do it though. Well, you could change it now for it to apply. Well, you could change it now to apply to the next term. You can't change his Which salary. Which is 2020, right? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Prop. That is what no, I that's what I was. No, that's what I was meaning. When you know, that's what I was meaning as far as when can it? You know, still give the bonuses. We just uh, if we just change the the structure. Well, we do that. Yes, sir. Well, I you you can do that any time. It just can't take effect until, until the next term. Next term. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Should be November. And that's when we'd, we'd have to vote on it in November. No, no, man. You could do it now. Now. Become but effective. But it wouldn't come up. Okay. 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 I mean, probably shouldn't necessarily right now this month. Right. No, <laughs> I'm just saying, though, like, when Anytime between okay. now and before. Yeah. So we okay. just make it out of the summer to. And yeah, we'll so need to vote here. on the increase every year. Keep me first. Uh, uh, yes. You have to vote on this specific allowance every year. Yes, sir. Is that what we've done in the past? As far as I know. As far as as far as the bonus part, you're talking. About. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thought it was every year, y'all. Did y'all always? You, you, it was none of us was here. Us three wasn't here. Did y'all always and vote every year? I heard about this other day. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we all don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, obviously, I didn't vote on it either, but my recollection is it's come before the council. You got a better memory than me. It, it's come before the council. Now, there may have been a year that it, that it did for some reason, whether it got it or not, I don't know. But. So we just need to make a motion to approve the. All right, well, I'll make a motion to approve the employee race for the mayor. Motion, do I have a second? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm getting over that. I'll second that motion. Council Mayor Potts? Yes. Councilman Biggs? Yes. Councilman Van Goose is absent. Councilman Hart? Yes. Councilman Proffitt? Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> and do you want me to bring back the, the insurance next month? Is that yeah, what you guys want to do? Okay. That is all that I had under my report. You got anything else? <clears throat> no, sir. I am done. Okay. Uh, new business. I would like to, uh, we're not going to do any paving this year. And I would look like to maybe see about curving Roll Teal. This year, then we're not going to do any payments with the money that we've got. <coughs> so we got 150. That's true. Yeah, no, it's been paid. Oh, yeah, I think it's 150. And so, and we've got over 200 street aids. And there's old curves up there. That thing was built when I was very young. Very young. That's back in the 60s. And we're responsible for the pay curving just like we are. We've got three subdivisions coming in. We've already done the one that's out there in Better Drive. Drive. And then we've got these, and then, of course, the new one. That, uh, I, I like to, of course, that'll have to be bid and, and done. And I'd like, like to get to start and then we can get some bids and run back and see, mm -hmm. see where we want to do it. Right? Does that type of work, does it necessarily require an engineer to do that? Well, on what we've done in the past, it was very small. I, I mean, no, we could probably, but we have still have to have somebody to do to sit out and do the bidding for us and to have set some specs. No, we still got to be some it. specs on it. Yeah, to have bid specs put out somebody for the contractors to bid on, yeah. But, but I mean, uh, basically, what we've done is 
It's not a that's not a high dollar item. So what's not a high dollar item? The engineering is cost is so bad. Now that 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 uh, curving is pretty high. I mean it's <clears throat> I can't tell you that I was told eight dollars a foot on that out yard. I don't think it come back that much. It wasn't near as much as they thought it was going to be. And your previous question was one hundred eighty. One hundred eighty five dollars. But those are the <clears throat> curves out there, and I did learn something on that down that we did out there. There's that first one that we did there, past Roger Bradley's. There's a lot of water issues up there, especially on those lower houses. And that that when they come in there on those low ones, I'd like to put that concrete, you know, buffer that's in there, because that will turn that water. And they're about that high, and they, they're beveled on each side, so you have to keep that water from going down. I've had a lot of calls out there about water going down down those driveways. Down the driveway. Yeah, and yeah. something going into the basement. Yeah. And on the lower the upper side, you don't need them. It's just uh, just the lower side, just of course it's two sides, had to be half on it. And then where there's one there, put them curves, you know, like that one down there, he's out there with Bennett's, wasn't he? Oh man, that's the only one we did, rest of them, I mean, instead of the other. As far as the street eight, is, is that all we can use it for? Is either Paving Street or? Oh, we, it's yeah, restrictive, we, but it's not. You can do. You, you know, one thing people her. ask a lot about is sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. That's, that's basically what you do. The side, the street aid is mowing, uh, paving. Pay, uh, well, if, if you if you run short on your paving, you will use it. Well, that, that street aid is a good buffer. If you something other happens to come up, you run a little over on paving or something other, do more paving. What you got in there, you can use it for that. Right. Uh, mowing. Uh, uh, I think we buy all of our salt, salt and stuff yeah. like that out, out of that. Anything, uh, sidewalks or, right. yeah, yeah, we do a lot of sidewalks. And I think all the sidewalks that was done on that project went down there. Uh, well, the last half we done on metal, it was about 50,000, correct? Roughly. The second half that we done. I'm just trying to get a rough estimate of what it would cost to do that. That's a lot well, of money for curbing. Well, that's right, we're gonna bid it, we'll see. Get it bid, and, and, and then I, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't. Well, I've got nothing but negative feedback from the curbing on metal. That's what it's big. If we down there on the end, we went to nearly one lane basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Which I know that. On the end, I don't well, this street up here, these streets up here are a lot, a lot wider than the, what was the far end of. What you get into, the that. people are used to pulling in their yard, and they can't pull in their yard no more other than the driveway. And that's the negative feedback, which I mean, I'm for it if that's what the people want. And the drains aren't. And the drains. Yeah, which there's drains down there to address that, most of those. Yeah, yeah. Talking about them going to drive people. Yeah. Worse than the drive. Yeah. Like he said, he said, people talk about it. I just like to see us build some more sidewalks myself, because people, I mean, not saying not do the curbing, I'm just saying we need. I mean, is, is all the streets all in pretty good shape around paving wise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we paved everything except Maple and Preston Road. Okay. And the county paved Preston Road, eh, it's not been too many years ago. And Maple was done, was you here when Brad, Brad done it in Bradley? So mm -hmm. it was one of the school did, and they went all the way around. They went yes, all the way sir. out there. so. But, I mean, some of these roads, uh, that whole road hasn't been touched in over 30 years. James Montgomery said he was, uh, was in, was graduated from that, he started paving. Hmm. He's 53 years old now, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it, uh, that, there was a lot of, we had a lot of streets here that was in bad shape. I mean, it was all state stuff was with that. They spoke to page that before we got it, but they didn't. And I reckon everything's been paved in, in, the, in the city limits except, and then, like I said, those have been, I figured maybe try to hit Preston Road some next year. You start to get a few yeah, roads. It's beginning to get a few. Yeah. But I was sort of like, mm -hmm. well, we wait on the railroad out there. They We met with them in June about fixing those two crossings. Right. Or three of those crossings. Two of them were on Fairview and one was out there on 
on Preston Road. I hadn't heard anything of that back from it. So, but, uh, I would like permission to, to start on it and we can get some bids. You think it's too high when we get them back? You can always send them both know. I'll make a motion to start the bids. I'll see. Okay. Any roll call? Council Mayor Potts. Yes. Councilman Beeks. Yes. Councilman Van Treese. Councilman Hart. Yes. Councilman Crawford. Yes. Motion carries. Anybody got any more new or old business? About the yards and the driveways that we, uh, that yeah, we still last month. They ain't got back yet, so. Was that talking to Norris Brothers <coughs> about? Yeah. Okay. Well, they come back. They're coming back again, I've seen them. This is well, they were over right? one or two days, and uh, they ain't really done much. They went back out there. Don's hot. He's still not satisfied. He told me the other day. He went, I mean, they just want to come back and fix some stuff. I mean, it's, it, uh, but they're not liable for phase three, though. We're liable for phase three. That's the ones we're talking about. Oh, down one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, he told me he would go down there now. We'll just have one take where good. Yeah, that's what I was fixing to ask because I was kind of like John on that, yeah. where it then. Yeah. This project here has not been signed off on no, yet. No, right? no, no, no. We're still still holding about twenty five thousand. Yes, sir. Yeah, the, pro the problem down there was though was it got signed off then the wrong time of year, and nobody came back like they said. Right. Of course, I never told you about that. Either. We can't hold their money <coughs> on phase four because of something on phase three. Sure. But that's done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Correct. Well, that's correct. I was, <coughs> what I said the last meeting, I'll stand by it. Once we. If we incur costs down there and we figure out what it is, I still think there may be a, a cause of action against us, but we just have to see how much it is and what it is. I don't think they're totally relieved from <laughs> uh, from it, but I don't think we can hold. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's not retainage right. on that project for this. Why not okay. proceed and whatever needs to be done there and get that right, whatever the, the yards and the guys. I was thinking are. about maybe seeing a local landscaper or something other than going down there and uh, I thought I'd give another until first next month. Let's see what, because I don't, I, I'm not a fan of sowing fescue any place until you can get by in September. October would be a lot better. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I went down there with a drive, and uh, I can't, I can't get no favors. Small job favors. I mean, I've talked to two, and you have two, and you got same two. And we've got a we've got a piece down yonder on Rogers Road. For some reason, other it just looks like it's black tack and it's twisted. It's a spot that's well, you know, ten by ten. Yes. And it's going to have to be. We got four, five, six patches, small mm -hmm. piece of it. But it, you know, I mean, it's something other that we're going to have to be. It'll be small jobs, and but it just. Everybody might be busy right now. Cover yeah, everybody yeah. stay busy and that and then that one down there the lady was sure about her drive. I went up there and looked at it and uh, I we'll just have to pay that up for three days. And we'll go up there. And it looked like there was a chunk out of it and they had patched it back and I told him I'd go up to where that was and over there. It, it's about a ten and ten. And I'm taking it out, but I told her, I said, that's as far as I'm going to go, I'm going to pay your, you know, pay your driver. And I think, I, y'all have looked at it, I think y'all have looked at it. Anybody got any real questions? Motions are adjourned. I'll make a motion. Second. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh.